first vlog of the day. This is our third car that we did today. Century shampoo. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what it looks like. Alright, so this is the interior shampoo that we will be working on. Make sure that everything is clean, all in the cracks and the creases. All the inside the vents. All of that, see all that little dust. We pay fine attention to details. All our vehicles. We'll also be cleaning out this gas, gas cap. seat look like it has a little bit more wear that prints on the back seats um, might as well go ahead and touch up this trunk jam a little bit too while we're doing the interior we'll be passing this side we'll be getting inside the glove box detailed cleaning of this vehicle. Alright, so first we're starting off with a nice vacuum. And then we're gonna do some some prepping for the surfaces here. We're gonna do a light prep. It's a light prep. Gonna let that, let that sit and soak in. We're gonna come back into the back area. Uh, we're gonna prep these seats as well. We're gonna clean treat the spot. Back of the seats, because we gotta clean the back of the seats. We're gonna prep that. This will make it for easier cleaning. I yeah, know we can go ahead and wait for the steamer. We got our steamer over here. We use the McCullough. Uh, I'm not sure the number to make, but it's a small one here. Uh, make sure the light is on. Make sure that the light is on. Yeah. We just gonna let that sit there till it warm up some. Uh, we'll be back. Just a little bit more. So when we get a full pressure, we make it so that all the water is on the line. And just fill it up. I'm 
gonna take this tip off here. Usually have a pointy, a point, a point tip that we use, but um, this does, does but just about the same thing. Yeah. And then with the steaming, what we do? Uh, you can leave it over here. So what we're gonna do over here? All the dust off the crack. Underneath the seat. Now I'm gonna have a pressure type thing, but not really. We're gonna get all the dirt from all the crack. When it comes down to vehicles that have a screen, you want to be kind of careful because steam can get stuck behind the screen. So you don't want to put the steamer directly on the edges. What I usually do is go through with like a soft paintbrush, touch them up, um, or you just keep a nice distance from it. Um, and you can kind of like kind of blow. You don't want to put a whole lot on there. Um, of course, we're gonna have to wipe this down. Grab my rag. Just do a quick wipe on there, real quick. You don't want no water getting down nowhere. So, and that's another reason why you prime the machine every time before you do it. And then you just go through the hit the crack, on the button, the vent. All your edges, edges. Side your door pockets, so we got some dirt down in there. Get my guy with the vacuum. He's gonna come around. He's gonna touch all that up. We're gonna move to the back, back here. Oh, while we up here, let's get these pieces here. That we have right here, I'm gonna go ahead and hit that with the steamer a little bit just to loosen it up. So you get the seat button, all your cracks and edges. Go ahead, pull this down. How to do a couple vacuums. You want to do at least two or three vacuums, maybe even more sometimes. Uh, you want to do a vacuum to get up the heavy dirt first, then you come back again after you do the steaming and shampooing and do it again. And then, since we're doing a stronger area, we're going to go ahead and just clean this up some for the customer. I'm going to have to do the Get the heavy dirt. Um, of course, you always have to use a rag or something like that. Come back behind this. Um, we could have a little bit more uh, our all purpose cleaner on here to help break down the dirt. That's what I am about to do. I'm just going to spray some of that on there. And you see, we 
already vacuumed out the trunk, but of course we're gonna have to vacuum it out again. Tip of it, stick a tip of it down in there, and then we just gonna keep on working. Just keep on working it. Stick that down. Let me suck that out. Put it to another side. And you always want to use your cleaning towels. You don't want to use a, a towel that you're gonna use to do the spray wax later on down the line. Because these rags do get embedded particles and stuff in them. Go ahead and spray this down a little bit more. Let that sit. See? Get this trunk jam nice and clean. Go ahead, shake your rag. I'm gonna always shake your rag out. You don't want to put it with the rest of your rags, and then uh, you got leaves and stuff and all your rags when you go wash and that's not good. So I'm gonna always shake your rags out. Fill up your rags to use new side ups. Um, this car is not getting an exterior wash. Customer has a membership, so uh, you know we're just trying to take care of what we can. glasses and stuff like that as well. It's a pretty good steamer. It's not the most top of the line. It's about $125, $150 off of Amazon. It, it, it gets the job done. Um, they do have steamers out there. Thousand dollars steamers, all that other stuff. Um, I probably had about two of these and three. I had exactly three of these in my time of detailing and I still have two of them that work to this day. No problem with the hoses, anything like that. Um, it takes about five to 10 minutes to warm up, which by the time you're done vacuuming in the car, first time, it's, it's, it's already ready, so. Um, we'll to the gas pump area. And usually you can get this power wash this area out, so because we're not locking the car. better two power washes out um, but because we're not putting all that equipment you know, you know customer just wants to touch up make it look better we just want to go ahead and hit it with this instead of the power washer we don't have to take out any unnecessary equipment and I am going to hit this with the paintbrush We got a lot of the heavy dirt on, so we'll go ahead and just spray it down one more time. So that underneath the dirt that didn't come up, that was a tank. That's it, small purpose. We're gonna let that sit. We're gonna work our 
we're about to go in search. Alright, so we got everything cleaned up on this car. We'll give you a quick walk around so y'all can see everything that we've done. This is the back seat area. This is where we had the most problematic stuff. We had some, we like some milk spills, but we got everything cleaned up and fully conditioned. As you can see, floor mats are shampooed. That's just from the wind blowing. A lot of working in the outside elements. You see we got the carpets and everything cleaned up. And into the trunk, we touched up these jams and everything back here. They were really dirty. Um, we usually hit them with the power washer when we wash. But this customer is just getting an exterior detail. Well, I'm sorry, an interior detail. Like we need to condition the back of this seat right there a little bit more. Like I always say, go back over your work. So, you're getting first hand look. And look like we got a little spot right there to touch up. Well, we go back over everything that we do. 100% quality. That's what we strive for.